Okay, it is Thursday, April 15th, uh, the day formerly known as Tax Day. Um, just not so much this year and last. Uh, and before we talk about today's show, uh, I just want to talk about um, something that you've mentioned a few times. Uh, on yesterday's show, when we were talking about uh, you know, the vaccine hesitancy, um, and you complained that you know, Republicans are getting picked on for not wanting to get the vaccine, um, and that's unfair. But at the same time, Republicans, the vast majority of Republicans don't want to get the vaccine. Um, so, I, I, you know, who are we supposed to be picking on? If you don't want to get the vaccine, we're trying to tell you to get the vaccine. Um, and it mostly is Republicans. So I don't really, anyway. Um, so you keep referencing this uh, this notion from Israel about, you know, get a shot, take a shot, meaning, you know, if you get the vaccine inoculation, uh, you get a, a drink. And you keep talking about it like it's this big sort of campaign, you know, this sort of national ad campaign about, you know, encouraging people. It was a promotion in a bar that became a vaccination site specifically as a promotion to say, hey, we'll get more young people uh, vaccinated if we say, you know, come get a shot in the arm and we'll give you a free drink. That was the, that's where that phrase came from. And, you know, Israel's also been very controlled about opening places up only to people who have been vaccinated, you know, gyms and malls and you know public places so uh, you know that kind of thing and it would work that it, you know that would be okay you're free to come here if you've been vaccinated although we know that we can't do that in this country either because also the republicans don't want to carry a vaccine passport because i know it it trumps on their freedom you know fucking florida you know, DeSantis has made it illegal for anyone to require people to be vaccinated to show up somewhere. How is a concert promoter going to uh, ensure any venue in Florida if they can't ensure that the, that the patrons have been vaccinated? Anyway, so, you know, this notion that you keep throwing out, it, it it, it won't work here <laughs> because your people, those same ones that have vaccine hesitancy, uh, you know, aren't willing to carry around a passport that say they are vac vaccinated once they do get vaccinated. So again, you know, you talk in your circles that it's not a problem solving uh, idea. The, the problem is the Republicans need to get better educated and they need to stop watching um, conservative media. That's the enemy. Not the, you know, the, the government messaging isn't the problem. The messaging has been clear. The messengers to specific parts of the country have been terrible and liars. So that was yesterday. I just wanted to, you know, circle back on that one. And today we talked about uh, the uh, Biden's plan to remove U.S. troops from Afghanistan by September 11th of this year. And, you know, without understanding what's in the um, proposal, you just go and attack it about uh, making sure that, you know, women's rights are upheld and that the Afghan forces that are left behind still have financial support and, you know, and just me, 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 without without having any idea uh, whether or not that's in the plan, you just decide that um, you're going to complain about it uh, before it's an issue. I guess you know, early bird, or you know, being proactive in your complaining. Um, and to the point where you ask Hillary Clinton's daughter, Chelsea Clinton. Um, if the Biden plan will include those things, you know, protecting the rights of women and you know having uh, enough uh, resources available for the uh, Afghan forces left behind, and you know she gives a lovely answer, 
Um, but I, you know, I don't know. I guess you just assume that, you know, every daughter of a famous politician uh, is super plugged into what's going on in the White House right now and would have the answers to that. And if that were true, I guess you would know the answers, but you don't have any of them. Um, and, you know, we went through your very extensive personal uh, history with the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, you know, listing off every person you've ever known in your entire life that ever was in active service. And, and, and Tommy went there and Jimmy went there and Jack was there, Billy was there and, and Brenda went there and slow down. I get it. You want to have a, it's a personal story to you, but we really don't need the whole, um, you know, Academy Award uh, winning list of every producer um, you've ever worked with in your entire life kind of speech uh, to get your opinion on uh, on this topic. Um, and then we, we talked about uh, some diversity woman, I don't know what her title is, or I, I, from the BBC, I, I guess, complaining that the character of Luther wasn't black enough. Um, and it's just such a stupid notion. Um, and I think Whoopi said it that, you know, this is a fictional character, right? And in real life, people aren't going to be every stereotypical thing that you want them to be based on the label that you've applied to them. And uh, so I think it was you who brought it up yesterday about, you know, Pete Buttigieg when he was running for president was criticized for not being gay enough. It's bad enough when you're criticizing a human being living his life the way he chooses to live it for not being enough of something what you expect him to be because of the uh, preconceived notions you have about the labels you've put on him. Um, but then to do that to a fictional character is just kind of insane. Um, although, you know, your, your response was basically, I don't really understand acting. <laughs> Which is pretty funny, because um, I'm pretty sure a lot of what you do uh, is really just putting on a show. So maybe you understand it more than you think. <laughs>